Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you would like to import transactions from a CSV file into GNU Cash, whether from a bank or a credit union, then this video is for you. I'm going to show you how to import those transactions into GNU Cash, create new accounts as we go, and then map those transactions to those newly created accounts. This video was requested by one of my viewers, so this video is for you. Thank you for the request and thank you for watching. Now, let's get to the video. Okay, let's open GNU Cash. Okay, from the screen, let's click on File, Import. Then from the list, we're going to select Import Transactions from CSV. Uh, from the transaction import assistant, you're more than welcome to go through it and familiarize yourself with the process. But for now, I'm going to click next. Uh, from the select file for import, locate your CSV file. I'm going to choose the first one here and then, and then click next. Uh, from the import preview, what you see down here is a preview of my CSV file. Don't worry about it. All this is bogus information. It's fake data, so don't worry about it. I already cleaned it up for the purpose of this tutorial. Okay, so let's take a look at the load and save, load and save settings. Uh, this is a section where you can save these settings. If you're going to import a CSV file on a monthly basis, I would recommend you creating your own uh, settings. Uh, this way you don't have to continue changing it all the time. So for now I'm going to call this, um, uh, let's call this my settings. Okay, my settings. And then I'm going to click save. Okay, close it. So under file format, we're going to leave everything as is. This is a CSV file that we are importing. So we're going to leave everything as is. Under account, this is a brand new register that we're creating. Therefore, it does not have any accounts yet. So we're going to leave this section blank. Under miscellaneous, um, the only thing I'm going to change here for now is the date format. The date format here must match your CSV file. So as you can see from my file, it's um, the format is in month, day, and year. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to choose a uh, month, day, and year. Okay, the currency is going. We're going to leave it as is. Um, as for the leading lines to skip, I'm going to come back to this later. So let's take a look at the at the CSV file that I'm going to import. Uh, my file, your file might be might look different than mine, but mine it has account name. It has headings, so account name, account number, uh, date range, and here we have the transaction number and different columns with different information. Uh, so one thing to note also is that when you look here in this balance uh, column, it means that uh, not only I have a deposit here, but also I have $1,000 already in the account. So that means that when I create the accounts, I need to make sure that I create an opening balance account of $1,000 so it can match the CSV file that we are importing. Okay, so let's go back here. Um, one thing also that we need to note is that if you look at the heading here or these columns, what GNU Cash does is that if you leave it none, it's not going to import those accounts. But if you rename them, it's going to bring it in. So let's start renaming them. So the first column, even though I know these are not my accounts or the accounts that I want to use, I'm going to name it account because I can then later rename them. So from here, I'm going to choose um, account. My first column is the account. Uh, the next column on my CSV file is the date column. So I'm going to choose uh, date from the from the list. Ignore the errors for now. We're going to fix that later. Uh, the next column is description, but I'm going to call it something else. I want it to be memo. So that's going to be the memo column. Uh, now the memo column on my CSV uh, file, it's going to be now the description column. And then the next column is the amount debit. So that means those are your expenses. So I'm going to choose 
from this column we draw. Uh, the next column is amount of credit. These are your deposits, so I am going to select uh, deposit from the list. I don't know why I have to click twice. Uh, for the balance, I'm going to leave it as is. I'm not going to bring it in because it's a calculated field, and Gunu Cash is going to do that calculation for me. Uh, on the check number, this is a check number here, so I'm going to choose um, num from the list. And then on the fees, I'm going to leave it as is. I'm not going to bring it in. So remember, anything that you leave as none is not going to come over. Okay, now let's take a look at this. So as you can see, we have some errors here. If you look at the bottom, it says not all fields could be parsed. Uh, please correct the issues reported for each line or adjust the lines to skip. If you look to the right here at the bottom, there is a skip errors uh, feature. Um, you can click it if you like, but I would not recommend you doing that. I would I prefer if you uh, clean it up first and so you can have a successful uh, importing process. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to skip all the lines that I don't want to bring in. So I don't want to bring this column or this or this or that. So that means that I have one, two, three and four rows or lines that I don't want to bring in. So I'm going to come back here on the leading lines to skip. I'm going to make it four. Okay, one, two, three, four. So those are the four rows that it's not going to bring in. Okay, so now the errors went away. So I'm ready to uh, actually before I move forward, I need to make sure that I save my settings. So when I come back the next time, um, all the settings are there in place. Okay, now I'm ready to click Next. Now from Match, Import, and GNU Cash Accounts, what we're going to do here now is we're going to create the accounts for this register. Uh, and, and I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier, but uh, we're going to create three accounts. Checking account, expenses account, and an income account. All these are the basic uh, account types that we're going to use for this simple checking account. Um, in order for you to create an account, you can either click on this button at the bottom, change GNU Cash account, or you can double click on any of these and then it will take you to the same place. So I'm going to double click here. And then in this section, I'm going to create a new account. And remember the first column that I chose as my account column, and I told you and I said that I was going to rename him. So here's where I'm going to rename him. So I'm going to highlight the whole thing and I'm going to call it checking account. Okay. Now next to it, we see an opening balance tab. We're going to click that. And here's where I was telling you that my CSV file already has a balance. So I'm going to type that balance in. So 1000, the date I'm going to make it, um, I'm going to backdate it. So I'm going to make it June uh, 2021. So it could be the first line um, in the register. So let's click general. And then this checking account is going to be a parent account. So we're going to leave it as new top level account. But if you look to the left under account type, we're going to choose bank because that's where your money is in the bank or credit union. So then we're going to click OK from here. So we just created our first account. We're going to double click here again and we're going to create a new account. And this one, we're going to call it income. OK, we don't need to add opening balance because we already did that on the checking. This is going to be also a new top level account. So we're going to click on that. And this one uh, for the income, we're going to choose account type income. So this one has its own account type. So let's click OK from here. And now we're going to create another account. And this one is going to be called expenses. Uh, so let's call it expenses and delete the rest. Um, and we're not going to do anything under opening balances. So the account name expenses is also going to be a new top level account and the account type will be expense. So let's click OK. And let's double click so you can see all the accounts that we created. So we created a checking account linked to a bank account type. 
expenses linked to expense account type, income linked to a income account type, and balances linked to equity. And this is something that Guno Cash did automatically, linking it to an equity account type. Okay, so from here we're going to click OK. Now we can start uh, matching uh, the import transactions to those newly created accounts. So all expenses that you have on your CSV file, you are going to match them to the um, expense account. So for instance, this one, as, let me move this a little bit. This one is an expense. So we're going to link it to the expense account. And it's already linked already. And it's already linked. Uh, this is a deposit. So all deposits, we're going to link them to the checking account. So we're going to double click here. And that's a checking account. So all deposits are going to be checking account. And all expenses are going to be linked to expenses account type. Okay. So now everything is matched. So now we're going to click next. In this screen, we're going to skip it. So we're going to close it. Now from the transaction information, you're more than welcome to go through this. Uh, but for now, I'm going to click next. Now on the match transactions here, we need to assign those transactions from the previous screen to the register. It could be to a checking account or an income account. So everything that is an expense now from this screen, we're going to match it to a checking account. And everything that is from the checking account considered an income, we are going to, or a deposit rather, everything that you see here on the checking account, it is considered a deposit. Therefore, we're going to link it to an income account. Following me? Okay. So let's double click on this. So all expenses, we're going to match it to the checking account. So let's double click here. Here's another expense. And we're going to match it to the checking account. And anything on the checking account that it's a deposit, we are going to link it to income because it is considered an income. Okay. So now we have everything uh, linked or matched appropriately. So we're ready to move on. But before we move on, next time you import a CSV account into this newly created register, GNU Cash is going to remember what you did. So you may not have to go through this, through this entire process. Again, unless there is something that you did not um, assign it uh, previously, you might have to re uh, um, you might have to assign it later on. But for now, we're going to click apply. OK, so we are almost done here. We're in the final uh, step. Uh, before we close it or before we close the screen, we're going to save the file. So we're going to click on file, save as, and you can give it a name, whatever you want. Uh, let's say I'm going to call this um, import transactions call it input transactions and from here I'm going to save as now here I am going to close this window and that's it we just successfully imported a CSV file into GNU cache now let's take a look at the register let's go back to GNU cache file this is the file that we just created so we're going to open it and these are the accounts that we just created. Let's double click on account on checking account. So on the checking account, uh, the checking account is going to hold all the transactions that you will see in your CSV file. So you see the date, we have the number of checks, uh, the description that we brought over. We also have the deposits and we also have the withdrawals. Uh, on the, the only column that are new is the transfer and the balance. The balance is just a calculated field. 
but the transfer column are the accounts that we created in order for GNU Cash to assign it to the pro appropriate account. And of course, we did that all manually. So the one thing with that we need to, uh, one important note here uh, regarding GNU Cash is that it's a double entry accounting software, meaning that everything has a source, all transactions have a source and a destination. So in this case, if you have a deposit, that deposit goes into your checking account, but it, the source is an income. It's because of an income, right? So that's why if we you see here, income, if we go to the accounts and double click on income, here's all your direct deposits that went to your checking account. And if we double click on expenses, these are all the expenses that came out of your checking account. Okay, so what, what GNU Cash does is that categorize it this way for tracking purposes. Okay, so this is it. This is how you import a CSV file into GNU Cash 4.5. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and be well.